You got it, Juice. I got your juicy entertainment news for Monday. Prosecutors are now accusing R. Kelly of abusing a teenage boy in a new court filing. The teenage boy in question was also an inspiring musician. Allegedly met R. Kelly at a McDonald's in late 2006 before R. Kelly invited him back to his Chicago studio and allegedly asked the boy what he would do to make it in the music business. R. Kelly then allegedly proceeded to have sexual contact with the 17-year-old who also introduced R. Kelly to another teenage boy with uh, prosecutors alleging that R. Kelly also engaged in a sexual relationship with a friend some years later. Um, R. Kelly also allegedly filmed both of the young men in sexual encounters with others, including some of R. Kelly's own partners. The boy was also allegedly in contact with R. Kelly in 2008 when he was on trial for child pornography charges, telling R. Kelly that he had contact with a juror on the case. R. Kelly then reportedly instructed the young man to get his contact to vouch for him, asking to be described as a good guy. Um, R. Kelly, of course, was later acquitted of those charges. Now, prosecutors argue that these new allegations would show the crimes Kelly is charged with not isolated events and were part of a larger pattern. Now, the new allegations do not translate into new charges for R. Kelly, but it is not looking good for him. Um, now, it's no secret that the Donald has never been fond of LeBron James. We've watched the two of them go back and forth quite a bit over the last couple of years. Um, and things were especially testy last year in the midst of the NBA bubble in Orlando. Throughout the playoffs, LeBron and uh, his fellow players showed support for Black Lives Matter while also speaking out on various political issues such as voting rights. And we know Trump didn't exactly like this. And at every opportunity, he tried to say that the NBA and LeBron had very low viewership since they got political. Um, he even had a crowd at a rally chant, LeBron sucks. Remember that? Well, over the weekend, the former president got to speak at a Turning Point USA conference, which had a young and very conservative audience, and it was here that he decided to take some more shots at LeBron. While on the topic of women's basketball, Trump stated that he would only be selecting trans athletes. And of course, he decided to take things a step further and made LeBron the punchline of a joke, saying that uh, if he was coaching women's sports, he would only recruit trans athletes and then speculated on LeBron's transitioning and playing women's basketball. Um, Trump then went on to continue his tirade against LeBron as he stated once again that the NBA ratings are down and it's all because of LeBron's politics. With the election long behind him, Trump is still trying to find ways to be relevant and it appears that he's using LeBron um, as a way to do so, especially now that uh, he's uh, hit that billionaire status. Speaking of billionaires, are you ready for this? Kanye has moved into the Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz Stadium, where he held the listening party for his, uh, the listening event, I should say, for his album Donda last Thursday. The album was supposed to drop Friday morning. It still hasn't dropped, and apparently he is living in the stadium until Donda is finished. He said he was so inspired by the Atlanta audience that he decided to set up shop in the stadium and work on some material for the album and finish it up. Um, he was seen at the stadium on Saturday at a soccer match and was wearing the exact same outfit that he wore during his Donda listening party on Thursday. So he's just there sleeping and working. Um, he's reportedly set up a studio space, a living area, and has a personal chef to cook for him and his crew because, um, and because of all of this, he didn't perform sun Sunday night last night at the Rolling Loud Miami concert that he was supposed to, um, but he has given us a new release date, so look out for the album drop in August 6th. And that's your Juicy Energy entertainment news for Monday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all new KISS 96.